All right, y'all, real quick, because I seen this video on TikTok. I don't know what to do with this water bottle. <laughs> I seen this video on TikTok. Marlon Wayans um, was talking about how, you know, basically white people can wear a dress. And, well, let me let me rephrase. <laughs> he was talking about how basically white actors can wear dresses, men specifically, and they're praised for it. They're praised for their comedic genius. They're, they're given Oscars and Emmys and all that type of, you know, all those type of uh, rewards. But then when a black actor wears a dress, like, for example, in White Chicks, where he literally dressed up as a full tranny in White Chicks. Now, granted, very funny movie. Like, I can't you can't even cap like White Chicks is like a very funny movie. But. You dressed up as a full woman, a full white woman. And he says, you know, when black people do it, they're villainized. And when black people do it, they sold their soul. When black people do it, they're bowing down and this, that, and the third. Let me just play the clip because it, it I, I can't even really explain what he was saying. I'm tired of the rhetoric of, oh, you sell out in Hollywood because you wore a dress. Nigga, I wore a dress. It's called white chicks. You know what we did? We did a classic. Only black people sit there and go, Man, our brothers wearing dresses. Oh, so white people, when Robin Williams wears a dress Miss and Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire, he's brilliant. When Tom Hanks wears a dress in Bosom Buddies, Buddies, he's brilliant. When Dustin Hoffman wears a dress Tootsie. in Tootsie, yes. he wins an Oscar. Mm -hmm. Black people, as soon as we put on a dress, we start tearing each other down. This is art and this is comedy. You I'm tired of the rhetoric. Bro, you just so, I, this is what I don't like. I don't like when people say, oh, it's just art. Like, I'm literally humiliating myself. It's just art. It's just comedy. I don't like when people say that. Like, the, the, the truth of the matter is, Hollywood has a culture where you can humiliate yourself in exchange for fame and fortune and it's tried and it's true and it, and it it never fails and you see it like clockwork again and again and again if you're willing to humiliate yourself hollywood will reward you with fame and with fortune all those people that he named all those actors that he named that all dressed up in dresses and and played women you're proving the exact point. If you're willing to humiliate yourself, there's a check for you. There's a bag for you. There's a movie role for you. You'll always have work in Hollywood. If you are an actor in Hollywood, if you're willing to, to humiliate yourself, there's always a movie role for you. There's always a TV role for you. There's always an opportunity because the enemy can use that. The enemy can use that. And you just exposed it. You just exposed it. There's no reason why grown men should be wearing women's clothes. There's no reason why grown men should be putting on makeup. There's no reason why grown men should be putting on wigs. There's no reason. Nothing that you can say, do, or tell me is going to bring me to the point where I'm okay with it. We have an entire industry that has made billions of dollars by demasculating men. You sold out. You sold out. Plain and simple. You sold out. And all these movie execs, all these people in Hollywood, they're all going to kiss your you-know-what because number one, they made hundreds of millions of dollars off of you. And number two, 
they're hoping that you'll do it again so that they can get another check off of you. So they can get another bag. They're hoping you'll do it again. You want to you you want to win you want to win a you want to win an award for dressing up as a woman and acting like a woman. And you want us to give you an award and validation and credit. It's a sick industry. It really is. It's a sick industry. Now, was it a really funny movie? White Chicks? White Chicks was a really funny movie, but at what cost? <laughs> what legacy are you leaving behind? Like, that's some foreshadowing. Before, the, like, the, all the trans stuff was even, like, really popping, them Hollywood execs already knew what was going on. They were already planting seeds. Because when did White Chicks even come out? I remember watching White Chicks when I was a kid. This came out in 2004. This came out 20 years ago. So 20 years ago. 20 years ago. They have Marlon and Sean dressed up as white women. And they had Terry Crews on his fruity stuff, per usual. So you want to sit here and say, oh, black people, y'all don't support when, when other black people put on a dress, but you support when the white people do it. Bruh, you literally sat here and let them turn out three black men for a check. And you want me to support that? I didn't know what was going on. When I was first watching this movie, when I was a kid, basically, I had no idea what was going on. And it was funny. And it still is funny. But does that mean that does that make it okay? Does that make it right? Does that mean that we should be praising it and celebrating it and trying to do it again? Like, I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me listen to what he said again. Brick of, oh, you sell out in Hollywood because you wore a dress. Nigga, I wore a dress. It's called White Chicks. You know what we did? We did a classic. Only black people sit there and go, man. Ain't, ain't nobody talking about the shirt that, that Sean got on. I mean, I'm trying to be nice, but I mean... I mean, I don't know if straight men wear stuff like this, bro. And look, if you're not straight, then look, that's fine. You have free will. Do whatever you want to do, bro. But uh, I don't know if this is how a straight male dresses. Yeah. I don't know about that, bro. And that's not even the first time that y'all was doing some weird stuff on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's not even the first time. What was that movie where he where he, he had that little, little like yellow uh, tank top like tied and you know what I'm talking about? What is that movie where they had him turned out? What was that movie called? It was a scary movie. Oh, it's right here. I don't think I can show this, though. But it was this movie right here. They had him take this little tank top and tie it. You know how them little, how them, you know how they be doing it? How they be tying it and tucking it, trying to make it look like a little blouse? Like, 
I'm saying Hollywood has a history of how of, of having you humiliate yourself in exchange for a check. And just like he said, all of these other actors, they went crazy. They got awards. They, you know, they kept getting roles. It's because they kept playing the part behind closed doors. If you know what I mean. I don't know. I don't know. Man, our brothers wearing dresses. Oh, so white people, when Robin Williams wears a dress Miss and Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire, he's brilliant. When Tom Hanks... I think it's just weird that we have, like... I guess it's been going on for a very long time. Like, we've always been fascinated when the opposite gender dresses outside of what they're supposed to have on. Like, we've always been fascinated when, like, men put on dresses or women vice versa. Like, it, it's just, it's really us. The sickness is us. <laughs> that's the problem. And now that's progressed into, like, the drag queens and that's progressed into all this other extra stuff. But really, the place that really pushed that narrative was Hollywood. They've always been pushing that narrative. They've always been pushing that agenda. And I don't know what it is about Hollywood. Why are they so infatuated with that agenda? Why is it so overly sexualized? Why is it always so perverted when it comes to Hollywood? Why is that always the primary agenda that they focus on? I honestly don't know. I don't know, man. You're not going to sit here and tell me that I, I should be okay with you wearing a dress in any capacity. I don't care what, if it's a movie, if it's a play, I don't care what it is. You're not going to sit here and convince me that that's okay as a man. I'm good on that, bro. Take that elsewhere. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't really have anything to say besides that. Like, I don't really have, I try to have something where I, you know, I could relate it back to something, but it's really just the fact that, yo, this world loves to celebrate unnatural behavior. And that is rooted in sin. And that's an issue. And we have to be aware of that. That's it. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. Get in my comments. I'm out.